Hi, this is Bates with Legal Technology Solutions. I am going to show you in this video how to set up the two-factor authentication and also where to download NetExtender from. The first thing you want to do is go to this webpage, https colon slash slash hosted dot legal technology dot solutions colon 4433. When you're on this page, you're going to log in with your normal credentials that you already should have. In this case, it's going to be John Doe. The password is entered and you're going to click on login. The first time you log in, you will see this page asking you to set up the two-factor authentication. As you can see over here, you have the instructions to install Google Authenticator. If you're going to click on this link, it's going to give you the instructions from Google on how to get that app and how to install it. The th second thing you need to do is scan this barcode with a Google Authenticator app. And once you scan that bar this barcode over here, your phone is going to have a six-digit code that you're going to have to type in over here. I'm going to actually do it right now for my cell phone, and I'll show you the video. First thing we're going to do is click on the Google Authenticator app. That opens up the app, and you're going to click on the plus sign on the bottom right over there. Once you click on it, you have the option to scan a QR code or enter a key. We're going to click on scan a QR code. This arrow shows up. Scan the barcode that's showing up on your computer screen. And as soon as you do, that code is going to show up on your authenticator code. Now that I scan the barcode, my phone shows a code, which changes every few moments, as you'll see. And that's the whole point of this security. So I'm going to type in the code over here. And I'm going to actually take a note of this emergency scratch code that will allow me to connect with this code in case something ever happens to my phone. I'm going to click OK. The next screen is going to show us again the emergency scratch code. Make sure you note that. Some people like to text it to themselves. And the next screen, you're just going to click on Click Here to continue. Now that you're here, you are able to, if you already have NetExtender, you can now go in and run NetExtender and you'll be prompt for the two-factor authentication code. But I will show you what we do next if you don't have NetExtender. We're going to click on this link over here to download it for Windows. And let's save this file over here. I'm going to run that. Very loud speakers. And let's go through the installation over here. Now, the first time that you run at Extender, it's going to ask you for a couple of pieces of information. The server name is always going to be hosted.legaltechnology.solutions colon 4433, just the web ad, like the web address we had on the top. The username is going to be John Doe. Of course, change it to your own name and your own password. And the domain is always ccshosted.local, unless you are told otherwise. We're going to click on Connect over here. And this is the new two-factor authentication code that you will be asked from now on, now that we activated two-factor authentication. You open your Google Authenticator on your phone, and you'll see the code. I'm going to list it. I'm going to type it in right now over here. And as soon as I type in the code, the connection to NetExtender will continue normally, just like you used to. If you have any issues or questions, please give us a call. Thank you very much.